Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Oh, I say chickens. Don't I? Not, not when I'm in the video because I do not approve of that language. Hello, my chickens. Welcome back to my... Is someone at the door? Yeah, my food's here. Hi, oh. everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today, Michael and I are doing a mukbang. Um, I'm going to wait for him to come back. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. He was so cute. Would you fuck him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so today, we're doing a Japanese mukbang. Is what you're reading Japanese? I'm confused. Lemongrass, tofu, rice paper box, similar. Hi, everyone. Hi, so, hi, how are you? Fantastic. Thanks for coming to my new house and filming. That's all right, babe. I was here before you even fucking saw it in person. Oh, yeah, he actually, honest. he saw this house before I did because I was in quarantine. And he actually, he got like all these photos and um, sent me them all, like a little house tour. Yep, um, just pop them up on screen. <laughs> what a model. Love that. Model. Okay, so I asked you guys to ask us some questions Ooh. on Instagram, but first we're gonna dig in because I'm a hungry girl. <gasps> that was kind of scary. Okay, so we have miso soup. Do you eat that? Mm, I don't even really know what's in it. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Do you like it? Yeah. It's nice to like start off the meal because it just gets your like taste buds like, It does actually. Watering. I think that's why you're served at first. We're drinking this out of plastic fucking containers. <laughs> Is that not up to your standards? Well, we can only do so much. Like, it's Uber Eats. Like, we may as well use it. It's been put in here. Yeah. What are we going to do? Transfer into air code friendly? No. Bamboo bowls. How's your sugar water? <laughs> Yummy? Mm. Mm. Now, what have you actually purchased for us today, Shans? Because I'm seeing... 43 grams of sugar. That is so me. Do you have scales here? No, I don't want to see sugar okay. on scales. Okay. So, we have a bento box. So, we have rice <laughs> salad. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> spring rolls, karagi chicken, edamame... Dick <laughs> and what's that? No, that's not chicken. It's like noodles and I think pork in this one. So mm. we're just gonna kind of dig in, but that was nice. Oh, Shani bought this. Oh, yeah. I don't eat this. Why did you get if you're gonna? It was just possibly the worst thing you could get if you wanna like try something different. Because last time you had this, it was like fucked in the face. What is it? Sorry. It's raw, sh it's raw fish. I don't know what's raw. This is going to be hectic as shit. Who's spring roll? I think they're veggie. Mmm. Is it gross? <laughs> I just can't wait to see. No, I mean, I, I was, I've been basically eating this for years, but I just need you to try it with some soy sauce. Do you want me to put it into your mouth? Oh, I'm kind of scared. I'll get this leaf off. I think yeah. I need to like cleanse my palate with this soup. It's so big. It's fine. It's so gross. Are you gonna eat that? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving that. That's Shani. Bro, that's so gross. It's, oh my god, that looks like that looks like a fetus. It's actually raw. that looks like a chewed up. Why is it raw? It's so so. Just imagine a fish from the ocean. Yeah. You cut it up straight away and then you eat it. That is what that is. So it's just like raw fish, but it's not like fresh from the ocean because this is from like I don't know where we got this from. That's tofu, mm. isn't it? I don't like tofu, but you can have that. Fuck yeah. So much food. Oh. Okay, questions. Imagine if I just knocked off of an ear. <laughs> so first question is, how's life? I like this. It's a nice way to start the questions. Mm, very positive. We love positive. Yeah. Well, you go first. How's life for you, Michael? Fantastic. Been in a bit of a rut the past few days, trying to get my video done, trying to finish editing it. It's been about two months now. and. Wait, you've been editing a video for two months? It's been on and off because it's like such a mentally draining thing. And then, um, yeah, yesterday I was meant to get it done. Just like listen to me making excuses, but honestly. <laughs> yesterday I was meant to get it done, but the past three days my masseters has completely like worn off. So I've been grinding my teeth, having these hectic migraine, um, migraines, grinding, um, grinding down my fucking veneers. <laughs> so I haven't been able to do anything. So I'm getting that fixed today. But other than that, everything's fantastic. What about you? Well, that's good. I was wondering why you went a bit MIA this weekend. Yeah, I just... I'm working. I've you always do that when you edit. He always goes like MIA for yeah. me. It's like, okay, I'm too stressed at all. Bye. Yeah. Like every weekend is basically when I just edit. Yeah, it's so weird because you work on most, mostly on weekends, hey? Like you work during the week as well, but I feel like yeah. you really go into it on the weekends. See, so like I, because I have a coach now and she's really tried to help me not work on weekends because I like to work during the week. Yeah. So I, I really like to have that off time. And I don't know why you'd want to work on the weekends. Like, well, I know. Why do you do weekdays? I don't. Okay. Well, that's the thing because... Molly came over the other day and Molly was talking to me and she was basically saying that she was reading my tarot cards and a card came out that was like, um, 
his foot was half in the water and half on land, which was signifying that I'm not finding enough balance, balance. between two things, which is like researching the world that I research and like wanting to know more about it and then doing human things. So human things is like, I have to do two human things in a day. Like switching off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to like switch off and do human things. Like, Do you want to talk about what you do on your channel? Because I don't know if, if anyone knows on my channel, like what kind of path you've gone down because it's changed. So like, I'm just... Don't know what you're talking about. So in the most simplest terms, it's just, it's spirituality and it's, it's spirituality and like truth seeking. That's the best way to put it. And, and conspiracy theories? I mean, like, Jeffrey Epstein being a pedo wasn't a fucking conspiracy, was it, guys? So it was one day. Did you know that? I don't know. Anyway, so my life. Let's talk about me. What's going on? <laughs> now, I actually am vlogging now, so I feel like there'll, there'll be an update um, on my last video if you guys want to check that out. But, yeah, I pretty much just moved, got out of quarantine. I think I'm in week two of my new place now, so kind of just, like, trying to find balance of my life. Why has it gone so bright? Um, I'm just trying to find balance with like my work and my normal life and then like just coming out of quarantine I had a lot of time and now I feel like I don't have a lot of time to get everything done that I want so I'm really like struggling I'm like what how do I get a workout in eat healthy work talk to friends and do all that <laughs> Bindi hey now oh, look at his face. I know. <laughs> like, um but yeah I've just been trying to find balance and it's it's tricky but I'm getting there and I'm working mm. with the coach to kind of like get the hang of it and I had to even postpone my coaching session yesterday which was the reason that I'm doing coaching is so I don't have to postpone things and I did so I was like I felt annoyed but I had to work so that's my life but I'm pretty good I feel well, like we're both in a very different stage than when we used to film like we're very grown yeah, up yeah we were just saying content. before it's, it's like hard to make video ideas and it's hard to come up with like cool fun because like we saw a tweet the other day that was like um it was like I miss the days of shiny Grimm and Michael Finch yelling at that dog um, and just like not giving a fuck about anything and like, that, like was, that was like four years ago yeah like we're still like that but like we're just not as we're not like as like annoying and silly because like I'm 24 I'm literally 24 next week huh? like 24 wait 24 or 23 yeah, I don't 24. know 24 I forget every year but um, <laughs> 1996 if anyone wants to do the math and just make sure I'm correct thank you no, that's um, right. but yeah yeah so he was just saying we struggled to like think of video ideas because we have gone like yeah. we've grown up a lot and we're kind of on different paths than what we were before, obviously, because everyone grows up. But obviously, seeing it documented online, people are probably like, it's just different vibes. So, yeah. but I don't know. I still I love filming with Michael because it's like we're not even working. We're just like hanging out. Yeah. And yeah, it's still really fun. And we've got to have a housemate now. It's so weird. They're probably fucking. <coughs> <laughs> Roommate ting. <laughs> Can't relate. Literally don't hear a word. I just hear my own breath at night. So quiet. I fucking love it. And the dogs. That's so funny. Last Thank night you. was actually the first night being alone because I've had a friend over like every night since I got out of quarantine. So yeah, I haven't even been alone It's good yet. to, it's good to, it's good to, like I've learned how to be on my own literally like, because at the end of the day, all you've literally got is you and like, literally in like 10 years or something like that, like you probably won't be friends with like, not anyone that you're friends with now, but like a lot of 98% them. of people. Or maybe you'll be friends with them, but you're not like, obviously you don't talk every day and mm. you know, they're not around a lot. Mm. Yeah. I forgot what I was talking about, but you know what I mean? Oh, do you comfortable living on your own and having your own time? Yeah. Cause all like, all you've got at the end of the day is, is yourself. Technically like anyone can fuck you over and yeah. like you just, everyone, everyone in this world should learn how to be by themselves. Be content and on their own with their own time and make, Things fun with your own thoughts. By yourself. With your own thoughts. Yeah, people need to learn to be with their own thoughts. Yeah, it's hard. It's definitely but hard it's hard. easier said than done, and I mean, it takes years. It takes years. I mean, like for me, it's been taking years. Like it's such a slow process. Yeah, I mean, going from shit to good. Yeah, I love having like my alone time. I the reason I got a roommate is because I'm literally like because we work from home, so we're alone like literally our whole lives, unless we want to go out and hang out with friends mm. when we have time. But so I decided because I work by myself. I was like, well, if I have a roommate, at least then I'll have balance. So then I'll be all by myself, like all day working. Mm. And then at nighttime, it's it's normal. It's like more of a normal lifestyle. That's why I really wanted that. Um, Cause when I was living by myself, it was really, it was fucked. Like, really? yeah, because I lived by myself for so long. I mean, obviously I was living with Tommy for a bit and he was living there, but it was never like a constant thing where mm. we would always be there. So I don't know, I was alone a lot of the time. And yeah, but just with my job, I'm like, I'm the type of person that needs balance sorry now i have it i'm so it's so hard happy. it's so hard to balance shit isn't it like in everyday life with everyday things your thoughts on michael being woke 
<laughs> she literally doesn't give a fuck. Next question. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, I just dropped my chicken. I can't breathe without crying. Why don't you answer this one, Shani? What, what's your thoughts on Corona being a hoax? Why don't you answer that? Tell us about that. Can I go back to the other one? <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny that you're being woke. I think it's amazing. Like, it's changed your life, but it's just a funny way to put it. I've noticed a massive difference in the way that you, your persona and your outlook. Like, obviously, I'm so proud of you for it. Thank you. So, I'm very, very happy for you. Um, Thank you. It's just a funny terminology, that's all. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> from Michael being woke. Um, so, why is Michael not friends? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Inappropriate questions. I'm skipping that one. I'm over it. I'm over it, too. Oh my god, look at the plane. Up there on top. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> he loves planes and I'm really confused about it. Oh. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to love my planes, right? Yeah, of course you are. You've got little ornaments around your house, don't you? If you'd like to get me anything for my I always say if you want to get me anything for my birthday, don't get me anything, but anything plane related. Oh my god, yeah, because your birthday's next week, isn't it? Is it on the eighth? Okay, talk to me. Can you like give me a fucking question? Like what are you doing? <clears throat> is this is this a dumb question? <clears throat> oh, this is good. Oh. What have you learned from toxic relationships? Do you like that question? You've, you've been in a lot of them, so you've got some advice, yeah? Always go with your gut. That's all I'm going to say. Oh my God, amen. Literally, always go with your gut because literally 99.9% of the time you're feeling that way for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. That's literally the best advice. I'd say the same thing. What is one thing you dislike about the other person? Sometimes. Oh God. <laughs> When we catch up, yeah. I like to know the day before a time and everything to catch up. Whereas though you're very last minute, so oh, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you've got to like get this done, but then you don't know when you're going to be done. So then you can't give me a time. And it's like, I like knowing a time to like plan. That's it. I didn't even know that. Communication. You could have told me that. I did. I told you this morning. I'm like, what time do you want me there? Oh, that's for and filming. Then you, yeah. That's for filming only, right? Yeah, but still, no, it's like any other time. But anyway, it's not a big deal. Oh, okay, well, at least I know now so I can, like, give you a time. But, yeah, I'm very last minute, so. Yeah. Oh, because, like, things always pop up for me. Like, I literally always have something on. So that's why I hate planning because I'm, like, I don't want to cancel on it because I don't want to let anyone down. That's why I do it. Do you want some? No, it's, like, porky shit. That shit will sit in me for months. Did you say poor people shit? I said porky shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pop as fuck. <laughs> no one wants that heinous shit. <laughs> do you resonate with each other in terms of having... Similar mental health issues. I think we definitely both have anxiety. I think we all, I, I think we both have our. Ah! We both have our. Our demons. <laughs> I think everyone does. I think we oh. can relate on the fact that we both have but ours chronic are, anxiety. Ours are, I mean, me not so much anymore, but ours are very, I mean, I still get it, but like yeah, ours are very, our situations are so different, like in so many different ways, but like, yeah, we can relate. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Well, am I, I haven't had anxiety since I was in Melbourne, actually. I've been so good. Really? Yeah. I had this morning. Because you just wake up with it randomly, hey. It's it so really, yours well, just comes randomly. You mine, know what? Mine comes from a situation. Mine comes down to what I eat. How do you both improve your mental health so much? Um, having a coach, that's something that really helps me a lot. So she's called an empowerment coach. Um, she's really, it's been like a step-by-step -step guide of like phone calls, like three-hour phone calls, like yeah. twice a week. So that's been amazing. And then reconnecting with friends. And I think as we're getting closer, I think we've gotten a lot closer. And that's helped me a lot because he's a very like positive person. And I love having that energy around me and being close to my family again. Well, we've always been close, but just like living closer close. than ever. Mm. Yeah, and living closer. Again, yeah. So that's really helped me. But I think it's just, yeah, the coach has been the most important thing because it's just really getting <clears throat> into my mind and changing the way that I think. And and, that's good. Yeah. Because I'm not like that. Nothing, I, talking to a coach, like... Well, yeah, different. I just like, try and I like... I don't know. You, I think you've done all your like. I like sorting work shit by out. Yourself. Yeah, I like sorting shit out by myself, but I still like talking to other people. Like, remember, I was going to see that therapist for ages, like back in. Oh. Did you like it? Um. Yeah, but you know when therapists like ask you to do stuff and you question it, being like that actually sounds so stupid, but like it will work. Yeah. When I got to that point, I was just like, I'm actually not going to do that. That's when she asked me to do that letter yeah yeah so for my coach says like i need to write a nice letter to myself like forgiving myself for the last like two years because i haven't been like posting as much as i want to like on my social or on youtube <clears throat> but i've been going through so much like in my life mm. that it's like obviously if i'm not feeling a hundred percent i'm not going to be putting all of my energy into something where people can pick up on your energies and stuff so yeah. i was too scared because i didn't want people saying oh you don't seem happy because like i hate when people say that it's someone said it to the me the, i know someone said it to me the other day and i was just like 
it almost it honestly makes like it makes it, you angry it, it makes you want to block that person like i don't care who it is if you're like in a really good mood or if you're happy or something and then someone comes on and says oh you look re-, it's like it's just the biggest kick in the you gut know what it's, it like, is? it's just a grading because you're trying to obviously yeah. be the best you can be yeah. and if someone like says that i don't know it's like obviously they're just saying that they're not yeah. trying to like hurt you but yeah like i'd rather a bit of a kick in the gut i'd rather you call me a fat cunt than say that i like don't look okay yeah like, I literally told my mum to stop saying that to me the day because she's like, you seem a bit flat, honey. Are you okay? And I'm like, obviously she cares about me. That's why she's asking. Definitely not and flat. S- flat? Definitely not flat. What's that step? Shani, you are a pig. <laughs> oh, um, no, I, yeah, that. she said I seem a bit like, uh, a bit down. And I was like, oh no, I'm just like <laughs> hanging out. I'm just chilling. Like, it's fine. And I'm like, if you, if, it's, if you think something's wrong, just say like, are you okay? Like, is everything okay? Not like, you seem like this. You seem like, oh, you look, I think you look sad. You look, you oh, look sad. Oh, the worst. The worst. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but hopefully. Surely. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, surely. Or like when you don't have makeup on. Oh, you look sad. I used to get that all the time. Oh, you look a bit sick. Oh, oh you look a bit sick. Because I don't sick. have fake tan on. That's the worst. Yeah. Don't ever say that to someone. Just piece of advice because they can fuck their heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why is that guy looking? He's looking straight in. The old one is looking straight in at me. <laughs> Someone's building getting a roof extended over and they there. Keep, and they, they keep were just, looking. We literally have been staring at them like that guy with the hat on with the hair out the sides. It's kind of like an all day vibes, but like a little bit shorter. And I'm kind of vibing it. Yeah, he looks kind of like... Maybe they should all just strip down naked and start doing their work on the roof naked. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your vaginas and your penises. Oh my God. Show me your penis. Is that all the questions? Because we've been filming for fucking ages. What's time? Is any advice for us in Melbourne still in lockdown? I feel really bad for everyone. Oh, so do I. I don't even know what to say. I tried to talk about it in the video that I'm editing now at the start, and I'm just like, I don't even know what to say. Because like, what can you say? Like, fuck. It's so it's so fucked. Mm. It's so sad. I feel mm. I honestly feel for everyone living in Melbourne right now and still mm. in lockdown. Like, I just have to hold myself back from saying anything because like I'm like I'll like show sympathy and everything and like you know feel bad for these people which I do but then I'll just get angry about it and I'll be like no nah, this is fucked this is how it is this is what's actually going on that's why it's sometimes it's better if I just say yeah. nothing I guess you can, all you can do is sympathize for people that are like, locked inside literally yeah literally and create content to distract yeah I don't know maybe some of you guys are in Victoria right now hopefully this is helping anyways guys that is all for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it I had so much fun and I'm really full now but I didn't even eat like a lot did I oh. I'm going to steal this jumper. I love it. You are n- That's... <laughs> as soon as I bought it, I'm like, Shani is not getting her hands on it because it's white and look at what you're wearing already. I know. I already have stains all over this. I'm really upset about it. I dropped a piece of chicken when you were talking. I was so interested and I dropped a piece of chicken. Maybe you shouldn't be eating chicken then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> I'm not going to be that vegan. I'm not even vegan. All right, guys. Sorry if you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. I love you. I'll leave Michael's channel down below. And oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going. Bye. Love you. I'm done. Michael's not, clearly. (laughs) (laughs) Subscribe to my channel.